Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the Devil May Cry playthrough. We just finished mission 4 and now we're on to the 5th mission, which is a timed mission. That key item we picked up in the last mission, we have to take it to a certain place before it runs out of energy. Remember me? And right on- ah, I hate shadows! <laughs> on hard and Dante must die, you'll be fighting two of them here. Oh, so they do that bullshit where they add additional enemies just for the sake of difficulty. Yeah, hard and Dante must die not only, like, adds more enemies, but also changes who the hell shows up in certain areas, like, later on in the sewers that we'll get to, on Hard and Dante, I believe it's either Hard or Dante Must Die, we get one of the most dangerous enemies in the game, a Frost. A Frost? Yes. <laughs> we'll see those much later. And there we are. That's still badass, though. Yeah. I didn't get enough bullets into it to destroy it, though. Mm -hmm. Again, once it goes red, you have to just whoa, 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 all, the, all, all over the place so that you don't get grabbed by it. <laughs> You're running away from it. <laughs> oh, now it, uh, it does that. Oh, you can't escape it. <laughs> yeah. But I'm doing this just to save a little bit of time. because. Wait, so once it turns red, it'll self-destruct on its own? Yeah, after a few attempts of trying to grab you. If it grabs you, it'll slam you around on the ground for a little bit and blow up and deal a lot of damage to you. Right, I see we've got a countdown. What happens if we run out of time in we, two minutes? We, the item that we have, the Melican Poly Soul, runs out of energy and we have to go recharge it. But before that, grabbing one of the most annoying blue arrow fragments right now. That is the untouchable. When you use that, you instantly go into Devil Trigger and you are invincible to all attacks for around 20 seconds. One of the best items in the game. And you'll be farming them if you want to have any hope of beating Dante Must Die without tearing your fucking hair out. And let me guess, to do that traditional RPG logic, right? it's the best item in the game, but very rarely found. There are about four or five of them in the game that you can find. As, and I do pick up quite a few of them, actually, so... Because one problem this game has on higher difficulty levels, you can only... you It limits how many items you can buy at a certain... Wait, that's level. it? Yeah. <laughs> and I actually got the special bonus there. The special bonus is apparently one of the most difficult things to get in the game. It's essentially a perfect run or whatever where you're not supposed to take any damage or whatever, but I don't get how I did it, but because I, as you guys saw, I took a hit from that shadow earlier. Now we're on to the next mission. And again, off to the shop. Thanks to that conveniently earned special bonus, I can now get the air hike, which is your double jump. Which makes it much better. Now we're in the sewers. It yeah. is Resident Evil 4. Yeah. And we're going back because I left the oven on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Head up here for your next blue arc fragment. Just, you have to stand in that one particular spot. And it just spot. drops for you. Yeah. You have to stand in that one particular spot for it to appear. But yes, this is just like Resident Evil 4. And now we're heading off <laughs> Only to... Only with uh, swords. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of swords, like, Capcom just renewed the trademark for Onimusha again, so maybe they'll actually fucking do something with that franchise this time. Because we have not seen a game for that since Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. Are you and taking this, your anger issues out on the statue? This statue will give you... A bunch of red orbs as long as you keep hitting it. The combo you just saw me do there, the four hit combo, then the backslash, is the fastest way to get as many orbs as possible before it, before it breaks, because it will break after a certain amount of time. Our friend's, our friend's gonna pop out in the sewers. What do you think? <laughs> yep, oh, insects. Ask, it, ask and I shall receive. Just like Resident Evil 4. Only these ones don't fucking burn your face off. So, are these gonna replace the puppets then? No. These these things show up very rarely in the game, but they're more of an annoyance than anything. So what? I just can go to town on them with Ebony and Ivory. And Palpatine's lightning, which you yeah. stole from him. <laughs> okay, you're yeah, equipping the shotgun there. Yep. Because these bugs are nothing. They want to stand in my way, they're going to get blown away. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> No, it's moving so fast I was messing the shots. <laughs> it's like you're going woo woo round and around and around we go. <laughs> right round like a wrecker baby. Unfor here's another annoying thing. Those red orbs they will disappear. disappear after a certain amount of time. They not only disappear but they also reduce in size so you get less of them if you don't pick them up. <sighs> oh yeah. And the Love bugs that. can climb on the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. They can also spit maggots at you which stop you from Using your uh, devil trigger, I think. Uh, if this was Resident Classic Resident Evil, that acid would probably be poison. Oh, I'm so glad they ditched the poison mechanic <laughs> after what was it? Outbreak onward. Outbreak Something like that. Too. Aye, they didn't. They're not using it nowadays. Good. <laughs> Nobody liked it. 
Because if you couldn't find a blue orb, that was it. You were fucked. So the rusty keys are basically, they're going to be the old, old keys. keys. Mm. Yeah, just like Remake for Chris. Poor Chris, he has, a, he has the least amount of inventory space and he has to find old <laughs> keys to unlock all doors. He has a he has a easier time combat-wise, but harder time exploration. But Jill takes more that Jill, Jill has less health than him, though, so she's kind of a glass cannon in a way. Aye. Well, it's to, I guess it's, to, again, to make the characters a bit different. Balanced or whatever. So, in terms of playable characters, Dante's the only playable character in this game? In this game, yes. Don't make cry too has three playable characters. And who's this? This is the Death, uh, Death Scissors. One of, the, essentially, a more powerful version of the Sense uh, Scissors. And Only you can only damage him a few times. Once he goes like that, wh where his mask changes into that orange, he starts doing corkscrew attacks towards you. Right. Once you hear a little mm. sort of sound effect, dodge to the side, because that's how you know it's coming. He likes to deflect your attacks as well, because he's a dick. Ah. <laughs> So the only real true way to go for his guard is to go and devil trigger and slash at him there. Is this the only time you fight him? No, you'll see him a few times. He's all... Remember when we first fought the Shadow in the courtyard? Mm -hmm. On hard and dug him a style mode, we would be seeing him there instead. So you have to knock the cow skull off in order to hurt him? Yeah, you have to, yeah you're aiming right for the mask. Right Just okay. like the Sense and the Sense House. But again, he likes to be a dick and deflect everything. <laughs> There we go. He was spinning it around there. <laughs> He's oh, like, oh, it's stand still! I wanna <laughs> hit you! But nope. By the way, wait here. You heard that sound effect? That indicates your Devil Trigger has been fully recharged. Okay. Some enemies, when defeated, will recharge your Devil Trigger fully. And you got an A rank. Yeah, the highest is S, lowest is D. That's weird in Japanese rankings, actually, S is somewhat higher than an A. But then yeah. again, when you look at. Resident Evil? No, like, then oh. you look at other games, like, X is higher than an S. <laughs> what? So, like, Friders and all that, I believe, uh, does that type of ranking system. Holding the key of our door. Now, the key item we just picked up there, it's draining our health. I'm seeing, sensing a pattern here with things draining our health. Underwater, and now key items. Oh, at least it's not that fuel capsule supply from Resident Evil Remake. Uh, we have to walk really, really slowly. Yeah, and if you run too many times, the screen just blacks out, and that's it. The mansion blows over. up. Yeah. <laughs> it worse off, we've got a secret mission coming up, but before that, this guy This guy so again? Yeah. He's a sore loser. But because I have my devil trigger this time, he's not gonna get any other annoying cheap shots Jesus, in. Look how much Wow, that's his a defense lot of is really low, but he's still got a few annoying hits off. No go back for the red orb. I ah. think there is where I realized that there's a red orb. Uh, you better grab it before yeah. it disappears. And as you saw there, my Devil Trigger was just fully recharged by defeating him. Switching back to the good old Bang Bangs. <laughs> Call that a good timing. That's the only way to switch your firearms in this game. Later games will give you the ability to switch on the fly. I uh, with the D-pad. And on Hard and Dante Must Die mode, you would be fighting the Frosts here. We'll see them later. Okay. And now we have a very, very annoying secret mission to deal with. Is it the Shadows again? No. Okay, One-eyed well. evil. Where the cow co-ops into their mutual death. What you have to do here is you have to get these rock versions of a sp of Phantom, essentially, to kill each other. What? Yes. This is where air hike comes in handy, and you, the enemy jump will also assist you here. What you have to do here is you have to get them to damage each other like that. How can you tell when they're going to die? Because again, there's you no can't. health. There's no health bar. No. Like, Don't We Cry 2 was, I think, the only game to have... You know, the reboot also let you see the enemy's health, but... Don't We Cry 2 and the uh, reboot were the only games where you could see the enemy's health. If you... If, if you damage these enemies in any way whatsoever, you instantly fail the secret mission. Wow. And it doesn't help that that key item is draining our health. So uh. there's even less room for error. So, what, you can't just deal with the key item and then come back and then do this mission? You can if you want to, but I decided to try, to try and get this in one go. Oh, ballsy here, are you? Yep. <laughs> now, as you can see, the Devil Trigger restores your health bit by bit. Unfo not on Dante Must Die mode, though, because someone thought it'd be a great idea to remove that ability. Don't you hate it when games remove your abilities on higher difficulties? Of course. Who else does it like? Well, that's one. There we are. That's one down. Now you can kill the other one if you want to. 
because you've got the bore fragment at this point. Unless the game somehow gives you an automatic game over, <laughs> I don't think you'll be losing the bore fragment after picking it up. And there we are, that's it. Secret mission clear. So off we go. Pretty simple. Well, By the way, you're stuck in this room until you defeat these, so just go nuts on them with air raid. And just go all force lightning on these yeah. bitches. <laughs> I love the air raid, it's such a great way of dealing damage at a distance, and it keeps you in the air as well from the ground threats. You know, seeing that hand graphic, I know, look at this playthrough, I know that's the game's way of saying you've cleared the mission, you can go through the store. I would have liked it just because it's the devils and all that. Well, they'd probably do this for the reboot, that hand would give you the middle finger. Middle finger, huh? <laughs> those, giant, those giant bug things there, they have an instant kill where they can grab you from behind and snap your back, so don't give them a chance to do that. You can break for, out of it very easily. Well, can they even do that off screen? Uh, yeah, but again, you can just break out of it very easily. Resident Evil style by mashing all the buttons. Oh, I bet you... <laughs> I thought you were going to go all the way back to... No, <laughs> if, you're, if you're at the edge of a ledge when you're standing still and press X, Dante will just sort of lightly jump off. Fun fact, in the original game, triangle was the jump b button. What? Yes. I believe it was triangle, but there was a different button. For, I don't remember which button was melee attacks. Maybe circle or X. I don't know, but they changed that for the HD collection. And I am so fucking grateful for that. Because <laughs> that was so annoying years and years ago. Having but that's still button. weird, actually. The platform but for platformers, the jump button is the triangle button. It's yeah. always been the X button. It's not, Wait, what's this? No mission start screen? <gasps> they entered something secret here. Ooh. Not quite. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it does that. Legendary Knight Returns. Activate the mechanism and escape from the rooftop. The Dark Knight is back. Batman! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not voiced by Kevin Conroy. There's not much to find in here aside from red these orbs, two red right? orbs. And there's a statue in here as well if you need to use it. So what does the statue do? It's the shop. The right. exact same shot that we see at the start of every mission. Okay. No, we're finally getting out into the ah. Not quite. Suspense. By the way, where's Trish in all this? Doing fuck all. <laughs> That's exactly what she's doing. Aren't you getting tired of getting your ass kicked yet? Please tell me this is the last time we're going to fight him. Yes, it is. Thank fuck. He's become he's becoming a nasty piece of shit. Yeah, on Dante must die mode, he is an absolute fucking nightmare to deal with. This is then you have a lot more room to fight here as well, and he starts using new attacks where he'll fire fireballs into the sky and they'll rail, they'll rain down on you. Okay. He starts off the battle with a jump, and if you actually get, I think I've heard that if you manage to get him to jump on the glass part in the middle here that I'm standing on three times, that instantly ends the battle. But I've never been able to pull it off because. I think it's just faster to wail on him. Because right. I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> and as you can see there, I now have a second health bar. It's it's very small because, because I don't have like as many blue orb fragments and blue orbs as of yet. But So when you collect more of those blue orbs, you're able to increase your health? Maybe. Yeah, okay. there is a limit. And we'll, and we'll see it in the playthrough because I do get all of them. There, and that was him. That was the game reading my input trying to catch me in the middle of my jump. As you can see... It's very easy to get hit by those fireballs. I think it's a bit harder to avoid them in the HD collection than in the original. Are you going to get this boss with a single hit? We'll see. Yeah, you're just cheesing them. Yeah. And yeah. there we are. No damage. Flawless victory. <laughs> and with that, that is the last we'll see of Phantom. By the way, this cutscene is horribly oh. pixelated. Just like Simmons in Resident Evil 6. Yeah, that's another thing I think that's a problem with the HD collection, the aspect ratio is all over the place. Yeah, you can see it with, this This is sort of like, it's not a full H it's not a full FMV, but you can kind of see that they were trying to go for that feel with this cutscene, but it is pretty pixelated. I'm Batman! <laughs> <laughs> and that is Sparta, essentially, his devil form. So, yeah, because he's the son. Yeah. No, this cannot be! <laughs> As per tradition, the son is stronger than the father for everything. <laughs> Where's that? Ah, that's the traditional cliche in Bye Bye Spider-Man. Yeah, a lot of media, like the son of the like most powerful characters, are somehow even stronger. <laughs> oh, what are we seeing here? 
trash. Yep. Yeah, as you can see, where she's were you? doing... Where were you this entire time? Doing fuck all. <laughs> where are shoes? <laughs> well, she kind of threw them away, didn't she? No, she only took them off. I don't see why she'd throw them away. You can actually play as Trash in Devil May Cry 2 as well, and the combat, her combat style actually plays like Devil May Cry 1, so it's like the one and only good thing about that game. <laughs> Sting her off the platform for another blue or fragment. Okay. That one's really easy to miss if you don't know where it is. What, is there plenty of areas where you can't, let's say if you miss the knife and you can go back and get it, or? Some of them are one-time deals that if you miss, you won't be able to go back for them. And you've just stolen Aquaman's trident. <laughs> And here we're getting a new firearm. Oh, aye. As soon as we're finished looking at this pointless corpse. <laughs> a grenade launcher? Yep, a grenade gun. This is one of the most powerful firearms in the game. But the problem is you cannot fire it in the air. In the air, you must be on the ground in order to use it. And, and the recoil is massive, so... You'll, you'll want it... As soon as Dante fires it, there's a lot of recoil on it, so you want to do jump cancels to stop the recoil from screwing you over. Do you get all different types of shells? No, just one type <laughs> of ammo. Now we have a timed part here. What's that thing sticking out of its tongue? I don't know. Oh, it's a, oh, it's it's a, a fountain. Water. It's a fountain. Basically, okay. what we need to do here is, you remember that area that was sealed off at the start of the game? Uh-huh. Now we're heading back there. What, you have and to have run to... all the way back through the castle? It's not as far as you think it is. And if, you, and if you use Devil Trigger, you can get back there really quick. Hey, fucking camera! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this game has those same sort of problems with the camera. <laughs> Going all over the place like... <laughs> yeah, there. That's where you needed to go. Jump over here for another blue fragment. Imagine that. You jump there and then you not only get a bomb, bomb, blue blue flag fragment, it's a bombless pit. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> S-Rank for no damage. Excellent. And I beat that stage pretty quickly, actually. And again, we're saving our progress, so we'll see you folks in the next part.